begin together. Ostworld's process. Which one is louder? You can do it. Ostworld's process. Is louder. UBS chamber. Cooling tower. Oxidizing chamber. And absorption tower. A mixture of pure dry ammonia gas and dry dust free air in the ratio of 1 is to 10 is fed into the catalyst chamber. In the presence of the platinum gauze at 700 degrees Celsius to 800 degrees Celsius, the ammonia is oxidized to nitric oxide. <coughs> this is an exothermic reaction. This nitric oxide gas is allowed to pass through the cooling tower and the gas is cooled to 50 <coughs> degrees Celsius. The cooled nitric oxide is now allowed to pass into the oxidizing chamber. This chamber has an inlet for fresh oxygen. Here, nitric oxide combines with oxygen to forming nitrogen dioxide. Two molecules of NO plus one molecule of O2 <coughs> gives two molecules of NO2, that is, nitrogen dioxide. <coughs> this nitrogen dioxide and non-reactive oxygen then flows into the adsorption tower, which is a stainless steel tower <coughs> packed with acid-resistant quartz. <coughs> Here, water is sprinkled from the top, so it slowly trickles to the layer of quartz. The water dissolves with nitrogen dioxide and non-reactive oxygen to give dilute nitric acid. <coughs> Four molecules of NO2. two molecules of H2O and one molecule of O2 <coughs> gives four molecules of HNO3. <coughs> Dilute nitric acid can be synthesized from ammonia via the Oswald's process. The mixture of ammonia and air is passed through a catalyst chamber where ammonia is oxidized to nitric oxide. This nitric oxide is passed to the cooling chamber where it gets cooled and then enters the oxidization chamber which is connected to an oxygen inlet. Here, <coughs> nitric oxide combines with oxygen forming nitrogen dioxide. This nitrogen dioxide is allowed to pass through the adsorption tower where the nitrogen dioxide is dissolved by water forming dilute nitric acid. Air, not ammonia and oxygen. Ammonia and oxygen is indicated by the equation, right? Yes. The ratio of reaction. Why should this component on the side of air, that is the 10, be so big compared to the one unit for ammonia. Yes. Complete oxidation is something I'm trying to get. Why is this uh, volume of air be 10 times the volume of ammonia gas? Yes. Yes, air is a mixture of many gases. Out of them, those so many, 
only 20% is what we want, isn't it? So we need a big volume to get only at 20%. So if like we took one cubic centimeter of ammonia gas and 10 cubic centimeters of air, we shall indeed be having one cubic centimeter of ammonia and two cubic centimeters of oxygen. The rest of 80% is unwanted in this reaction. That's why that ratio is that way. Okay. Another thing we want uh, to, to emphasize is on the use of the lab. The naming system as they have used here, we want to return you back to the UPAC system. You've heard of such terms like nitrogen dioxide, mm -hmm. nitric oxide, such. Revert back to our usual UPAC system. Take care of that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So instead of nitrogen dioxide, you should name it as what? Mm -hmm. Instead of nitric oxide, you name it as what? Correct. Mm -hmm. right. Which catalyst was used in the process? Yes. yes. Platinum, isn't it? Yes. yes. I wanted to emphasize this because we have some earlier version of textbooks which talk of a uh, platinized asbestos. <coughs> Discard that, right? Discard that and work with platinum. That's the catalyst we use, right? Yes. yes. The other last point is about the absorption tower. Yes? Say of say. Yes. We don't use platinum. Platinized asbestos, you need that term in some earlier versions of textbooks, right? Mm -hmm. When you come across it, discard it. Take platinum. So, mm -hmm. rhodium and platinum together can be worked with. Right? Yes. sharing of electrons or electron pairs <coughs> between the two atoms, thereby forming a covalent bond between them. Such compounds are called covalent compounds. A diamond is one of the three allotropes of carbon typically hard and having high dispersion of light. In the structure of a diamond, the electronic configuration of carbon atom is 2,4 and its outermost shell is short of 4 electrons to obtain neon-like configuration. Therefore, each carbon combines with four other carbon atoms to attain stability. And thus forms a covalent compound of diamond.
Other typical examples of covalent compounds are hydrogen gas, H2, chlorine gas, Cl2, carbon tetrachloride, CCl4, water, H2O, ammonia, NH3, etc. Properties of covalent compounds. Physical state. Covalent compounds are generally liquids. For example, water, H2O, or gases at room temperature, for example, oxygen, O2, carbon dioxide, CO2, etc. However, some of the covalent compounds like glucose, Yes. yes. 